We're drafting the Trojans here at Campus Insiders. Ray Crawford here with Pete Futek and Doug Chapman. And guys, only LSU had more players on opening day NFL rosters last year. The Tigers had 38. USC had 37. We're picking the top six yes. available. You get the first I was pick. willing to trade away all my other picks to move up to this number one <laughs> spot. And I actually was willing to trade away all my other picks from every other segment for this spot so I could take Leonard Williams, who should be the first pick in the draft. He's not going to be, but he is it. Tampa Bay will forever be known as the team that passed on this defensive tackle. He's got so much upside. He's already fast. He's already smooth. He's already got everything effortless about his game, and he's young. There's just a lot of potential there. Everything is in place for him to be the next great defensive tackle in the NFL. He's easily the number one pick in this draft. And number two, I'm going with wide receiver Nelson Aguilar. If he stayed till his senior year, he'd be a first-round pick. He's a slightly less explosive version of Marquise Lee, who came out last year. A little bit bigger body, longer body, great hands, run great routes very very fast and athletic I'm taking him second third back on the defensive side of the ball Josh Shaw who I think could be one of the top corners in this draft he did one thing wrong in his college career told a lie it's kind of made him slip but he goes to the combine they want to see if he could run runs a 4-4 he was one of the bigger stronger cornerbacks at the combine you watch the tape the kid has first round talent but he may slip to the second or third for his off the field I issues. want Josh Shaw he doesn't have leaping ability he's got landing ability uh, I'm taking Javorius <laughs> Buck Allen he's one of those guys that you could get him roughly fourth or fifth round and say okay running back running back but he ends up producing and starting for a long long time fast big powerful the other guy I really like who I'm gonna take with the fifth pick is Hayes Pilar the inside line backer smooth as glass he looks like a USC defender he's a great athlete great hitter great all-around player he's gonna slide a little bit because he might not have all the tools necessary in terms of uh, strength for the position but I just like him as a football player and we're talking about linebackers I'm gonna go with JR Tavai outside linebacker very aggressive player missed some time with a knee injury but still had seven sacks on the year he's fully recovered now very aggressive player gets out over his feet a little bit because he's so aggressive he overruns plays but runs sideline to sideline very well Stiff hip, doesn't drop his hips as low as I'd like to see a linebacker. May have some issues in pass coverage, but aggressive downhill guy. He'll go from rounds five to seven to me. All right, so an impressive list here, but it's been nothing like that three-year stretch from 08 to 2010 when they produced 28 players in the draft. If you will, Steve Sarkeesian return USC to that NFL draft. Doug factor, Chapman you know, right? could recruit for that place. It's <laughs> USC. You just get him on campus, and of course you get him. That's an easy place to recruit. Of course Sarkeesian too. He's getting some great recruiting classes, and they are upping that talent level. They get their scholarship ships back they're past all the uh, NCAA problems absolutely he's going to make them into an NFL monster. Yeah to be an NFL factor you got to get the greatest high school players they had the best recruiting class arguably in the entire nation so of course they're going to be back they're going to start spitting those kids out those first rounders and they're going to see a lot of this right here this year <laughs> in Southern Cal because USC will yeah. be very very good. Well hopefully they don't they don't they don't, no, they don't squander <laughs> yeah, yeah, they their, don't get squandered the like front. all those Texas four and yeah. fives that uh, <laughs> had trouble winning down there in Austin until Charlie Strong now come along try to change things. Hey we're moving up the Pacific Coast. Oregon set to have a banner year in the draft or drafting the Ducks here on Campus Insiders.